Yeah, that test got it hung up for a little while, so I uh, finally got out of it. Uh, here's your peripherals. Now, some of these obviously are on some of the older um, computers. Uh, some actually have the old 5, uh, oh, excuse me, the 9 pin and the 25 pin serial ports. And you can test those uh, actually internally or externally. Uh, here, I don't think there's actually any serial ports per se. And it looks like no external parallel ports. Now, a lot of, of course, the printers use parallel ports, now use the USB bus. Um, here you can test uh, USB ports. Uh, actually, I guess you can test printers themselves. I didn't know that. Now, it also uh, tests um, sound cards. They got to be the AC97 compliant. And, uh, okay, th this tests all, also the network. Here, it, uh, you have to detect the network first before, before you can uh, uh, test that. Here you can do the um, self-test um, internally and the, uh, the loopback. Um, you actually have to put the loopback plugs in it and it will actually go through the outside port and back into the computer again to test the external port. Uh, I guess you've got a PCI uh, modem and also FireWire. Okay, on the RAM, we're actually going to do this um, because it won't, won't take very long. And uh, here it uh, tests many different kinds of memory. Base memory, uh, I think the first uh, 640K. Uh, extended memory up to 8. On this one, it's 8 gigabytes. And uh, multi core, I think, is above uh, 8 gigs of RAM. Of course, your cache memory um, for like processor and other things, uh, and VESA memory for your video card. We're going to go quickly into the uh, base memory test, and because this won't take very long, and everything's actually set up right. Now, actually, if you look up here on the right side, this shows you about 24 different tests that it uh, tests it does, which is uh, uh, algorithms. And let me see if I can get this to work. And uh, <laughs> didn't take very long. Uh, it was a, that much memory. Now this is great. Like if you not just for um, you know if you if there's something wrong with the computer, you know what it is. But if you actually um, upgrade upgrade a client's computer, you can um, uh, with memory. Uh, you can put it in there, and you actually do this. Uh, uh, well, you probably want to do the extended test. Um, and you do about three passes, which will, you know, uh, take a while to uh, go through about at least eight gigs of memory. And um, because even some, some of the brand new uh, memory modules have been known to fail. So um, it's, it's uh, good to do that because um, if the, some, some do show bad that you're going to give it to a client, then there will be less returns. And the, the client be more happy uh, having memory that works. So, uh, and uh, pretty much, I uh, don't self-explanatory with the rest of them. Um, okay, this this is a test for the uh, video card. It uh, checks the different um, resolutions, and we might do that real quick. Um, well, maybe we could do the VGA. And uh, no, I don't think. Let me try the VESA modes. They're going to show you a little bit better. And you can actually uh, let's test it uh, right here. And it kind of tests all the the video and the different uh, resolutions. Well, actually, only in, in that resolution. If you do the burn-in mode, it'll actually go through all these uh, different resolutions testing out each one. Okay, the monitor is really, I think, built for, uh, based around the old CRT monitors, which I used to actually fix, repair myself. Some of these are used for uh, checking out the, uh, you know, the different colors. The red, uh, green, and blue, and the black and white. Um, vertical alignment was for the alignment. 
vertical and horizontal. So yeah, most of these are for um, some of the older CRT monitors. Uh, of course, testing the VGA RAM and VESA RAM. And uh, pretty much the same thing there. Okay. Um, now, often if you just do, do these tests once, it won't detect intermittent problems, meaning um, a problem that may only appear every once in a while. So um, it's often good if, let's say, you build systems from you know brand new parts, and it's good to burn it in using you know the diagnostic software for uh, you know a couple of passes uh, over everything or um, a couple of hours. Or if, uh, like I said, if you just replace the RAM for upgrades, then you can just test the RAM, but you'd burn it in for so many passes. And here you, um, you actually make, um, you can run it in auto and it tests everything. Or if you want specific um, tests, then you'd have to actually, this actually makes a um, burn-in script. And uh, it, and here you can test which ones and how many loops and uh, oh here we go it should be new. Then here you can select what test you want to actually run and how many times or minutes or whatever. And it doesn't want to work with me. It's being bad. And uh, it can tell you know different statuses and how it can leave error messages and things like that. Okay, that's, uh, that's about it on the uh, diagnostic software. Hopefully in the future I'm going to show you some hardware diagnostic um, solutions uh, which are like post, uh, post um, expansion cards you can put in there and, and uh, they'll actually test out the hardware uh, as well. Alright, thanks.